Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. I'm Matt. Today we are doing bass stuff. Done bass stuff before, and it's really fun for me, so I hope it's fun for you. Specifically about bass today, we're talking about an effect. That effect is the bass envelope filter. Now, there are a bunch of different kinds of envelope filters. The one I happen to have is from MXR. It is this beautiful little sparkly purple guy that is in front of me. You'll get an overhead shot of that. It's a lot of fun. I'm not good with the overly technical stuff, so what I can tell you is that it's kind of like an auto wah. I just don't really know too much of what exactly is happening inside this box, but I can show you what it sounds like, and that's the fun part. I actually looked through the manual of this thing for the first time since I got it, which was many years ago. Here's what MXR says is the rundown of this unit. It is an analog envelope filter. It has five different knobs on it. You have the dry knob and the effects knob, so you can dial in how much of each signal is being output by the pedal. You have the decay button, which is the decay stop frequency. You have the Q, which is the intensity of the envelope filter effect, to the attack of your sound. So how hard you have to hit on the bass for that to engage the envelope filter effect. So when I play lightly, you don't get a lot of it. But when I play harder, you get that full wah wah. It's great for all kinds of stuff. Um, you can use it for kind of synthy sounds if you take the dry signal out. You can also use it for a lot of fun funk stuff if you want to do like P-Funk, Red Hot Chili Peppers type stuff. Starting from high school up until still today, I am a big P-Funk fan. I love Bootsy Collins, that sound that they have on so many of those records. I mean, it's not always Bootsy, it's a couple other people, but those filtered effects, they just have that it's that bubbliness, that, that weird thump, that wobbly, like... Yeah, I just love playing with this thing and experimenting with this thing. I played with this pedal for so long in the setup for this video, I should have shot this about an hour ago. But I've just been playing through the pedal because it's so much fun. What I'm gonna do is try to keep this short and sweet today, if that's possible. We're going to run through three of the recommended settings from the manual. And the fun of that is it's going to show us a couple different flavors that we can get out of this effect pedal. So the first one they say is a synth bass type sound. So that has the dry all the way out, the affected signal all the way in, the decay back, the Q around there, and the sensitivity around there. I, when that goes deep on those low notes on the E string, it really gets that like... Gets that swell after. I really like that. So you do really get that synth bassy sound on the low notes and that fun bubbliness up on the higher register stuff. On to the next one. The next setting that they show in the manual is a 70s funk type sound. So that's a little more dry signal. 
more on the decay, or a different frequency on the decay, um, more on the Q, and full sensitivity. That's what they're saying is kind of that P-funky sound, that like... That one's a lot of fun. Honestly, I would pull a little more out of that dry signal. I really do like the affected one more. <laughs> this thing's so much fun. Okay, um, the next one that they recommend uh, is actually just about this same thing with the difference in the wet and dry signals. Um, so it's all the way up on the affected, about 9 o'clock on the dry signal. Um, and then these two remain the same, and it's just the decay bumps up to here. So this is, this is like a techno dance thing. This thing is fun. Yeah, um, <laughs> this thing's a lot of fun. Yeah, so that's the uh, MXR bass envelope filter. This thing's a lot of fun. It has those Bootsy Collins sounds. It has those P-Funk kind of bubbly, funky tones. And that's just so much fun to play with. I could play this thing for hours. I have played this thing for hours. A fun pedal um, that has been out for a while and it's still good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This thing is just fun. It is just good, bubbly, funky fun. Um, yeah, I absolutely recommend this thing if you're looking for bass effects. This also works on guitar. Maybe I'll do another video of that someday too. And yeah, that's all I got for you this week. If you like this video, hit the like button, 
hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. I post every Monday. And if you want to see stuff more frequently from me, you can follow me on Instagram at, at DirtbirdMusic.